Hi everybody, Mr. Place here with another demo, this time on an introduction to After Effects. In fact, this project is called Moon Across the Sky and it um, will teach you a little bit how to animate and uh, move a, a moon across the sky. So it'll be fantastic for you to learn a few things about keyframing, animation and visual effects using After Effects. So After Effects is a fantastic program from the Adobe family and uh, you guys have already used Photoshop and, and Premiere Pro. So uh, let's get into it. What I need you guys to do is head on over to the handout folder, video production. And I'd like you guys to go to video 20s, VP 20s, and I want you to go to three After Effects. We're going to copy plain plain productions and moon across the sky. So we're going to copy those. And we're going to head on over to our primary folder and inside our primary folder, make sure that you put them in right here, right click paste. So you're going to put plain plain productions and moon across the sky right here. So we're going to start with moon across the sky. It's relatively simple. It'll give you a little bit of the skills to use After Effects. Not a lot of creativity in this uh, project, so I'm not really looking for that. I'm looking for you to do a certain uh, amount of showing of your skills. So you're basically copying what I'm doing. So make sure your After Effects is 2023 20, or above. Um, if it isn't, you're going to have to make sure that you go back and update your After Effects. And I'll talk about that uh, in a couple of minutes, why we need 23 or above. So anyways, After Effects, the first time you open it up, it'll probably take you about two minutes for it to open it up and verify and, um, you know, give all permissions to, you know, access certain parts of your computer. So it will bounce around for a while and then finally you'll see your splash screen pop up, which is good. There we go. So the very first time you see After Effects, it's going to look like familiar, like Photoshop. Premiere Pro, we're going to hit New Project, and then we're going to hit New Composition right here. Right now, it's very important you don't gloss through this and just have a look at it. Composition name right now is Composition 1. We're going to leave it as that. Custom 1920 by 1080, so we're familiar with that. That's our standard that we're working at. Um, you can leave this as the default. I believe it's going to be 23.976 frames per second. You can leave that. It won't matter resolution is going to be full and this is the important thing right here duration so the first digit from the left to right is an hour then minutes then seconds then frames so we want to have 10 seconds so third from the left in the column there we want to type in 10 okay mine already says 10 but I'm just going to show you 10 and we have a black background I'm going to go okay so right away, this looks like Premiere Pro a little bit. We've got a timeline down here. We've got a bin, project bin to bring in or import. And here's our program window right here. So let's bring in moon across the sky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the, the star sky background, the star field, and a transparent PNG of a moon. So I'm going to bring them in together, but make sure you turn them off by clicking off so they don't have both have focus. I'm going to bring the star field first. It's exactly 1920 by 1080. <clears throat> Then we're going to bring the moon and we're just going to drop it in here. Okay, so the moon right here is way too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the moon layer right here. There's a drop down arrow. The drop down arrow is approximately right here. I'm going to drop down. It's going to say transform. We're going to drop down one more time. And we're going to just with the scale right here, we're going to grab it from 100. We're going to pull it down to, I don't know, I don't know, maybe 50 three somewhere around there we want a big moon in our sky okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the moon start over here it's gonna go across the sky like this and then we'll have some text come in that says moon across the, the sky productions so how do we animate well we're in the right place right now we're gonna animate the moon so one more time you should drop down so you can see position scale rotation opacity and the important thing is we have our scrubber right here our playhead to zero and here we go there is something right here called a time very stopwatch. When we click it, it's going it to expect some information. So at zero seconds, we're going to have the moon start right here. So I'm going to click it, and it added a keyframe right here. If I move the playhead out of the way, you can see up. You can see one of these keyframes. So at zero seconds, it's going to be there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the position. Before I do that, I'm going to put this to two seconds. At two seconds, the moon will be halfway through the sky. So 
right there. Mathematically, we want this to go down consistently. So we're gonna double two seconds and we're gonna to go to four seconds. And we're just gonna pull this off screen right here, there. So you can see the path, it's very symmetrical. It's exactly how it should be. If it's too high like this, so kind of make, make it look like it's a perfect symmetry where it's the same on each side, the curve. Okay, so then when we bring the playhead back and I hit the space bar, there are two seconds it's there, four seconds it's gone. So one more time, I want you to look at the keyframes right here. So there's halfway right now, and here's the end right there where it disappears. Now these are editable. If you want to make it go faster, we can go to one second there, double one second is two. So this is gonna go twice as fast. I don't like it though. It's not, it should be a little slower. So I'm gonna pull this back to our original four seconds and mid will be two seconds. So one more time, it starts here, scrubs across the sky, two seconds, it's right in the middle and then it disappears. So here's where we want our text to appear, right here. So we're gonna to go to our text tool and I'm gonna type in moon across the sky, moon across the sky and then enter or return productions productions okay made a little bit of a spilling mistake here so i'll get rid of that there we're going to cross the sky productions um, we can we can enlarge the text by selecting the text layer drop down text i'm sorry uh, not text but transform and we can scale it up if we wanted to okay um, but what you can do this is what I'm going to suggest is you're going to go to hit these arrows right here and these will show you essential graphics. So these are the graphics right here. So right now we have Helvetica. I'm going to switch it before you guys uh, saw this demo. I went to defont.com and I downloaded a font called Moonbeam. So I want to find that right now. So where is Moonbeam? Well, it's in alphabetical order. It should be right here. Moonbeam. Good. So that looks a little bit more uh, like the branding we want to move across the sky. Um, I'm also going to select my text and I might want to do something like change paragraph. I might want to center, just like uh, center the text by hitting that. You can always grab this, make it larger. Okay, so your character right here, the size right now is. Here it's 36, we can actually make this bigger there. If we wanna put a drop shot on here, and I'm gonna suggest you just leave this here, and uh, I'm gonna turn on the safe margins before we do the drop shot. So all we do is we mouse over until we find the grid, and then we go uh, Sorry, title, action, safe. So we do not want the moon going past this first one right here. So there we go, and we wanna center it as much as possible. So we don't want it on this one, we want it on this one right here, okay, inside that box. Good, went across this guy. And now what I wanna do is I wanna put a drop shadow on there. So I'm gonna to go to effects, because in After Effects, you consider this a drop shadow is an effect. So where it says effects right here, I'm just gonna type in drop. Okay, I have to scroll up here a little bit to see this. Okay. So we've got drop here and I see drop shadow down here. You have to scroll down a bit. I'm gonna grab the drop shadow and I'm gonna drop it onto the text. So right now it doesn't really have a pronounced drop shadow. What you have to do is go to over to the effect controls and you might have to turn up the opacity to see. And it's a black drop shadow. You can change the color if you want, but for this project, I'm gonna ask you to leave it as black. The distance, once we move the distance, you can see that it's starting to show up and the softness will give it a little bit of a nice look right here. It almost looks like it's floating on the sky right here with a little bit of a shadow. Okay, so this is what our project looks like, but we do not want Moon Across the Sky to start here. We want it to start right there. So what I'm gonna do, just like in Premiere Pro, is I'm gonna trim this clip. I'm just gonna pull it back. This is the text. So this is what it looks like now. When it hits there, it's very abrupt. That's not very good looking. Okay, I don't like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the opacity for it to fade in. Okay, so I'm going to drop down to transform and we're going to now keyframe the effects. So at four seconds when it comes in right here, we want 
the opacity to be at zero. So we have again, we have to click on the clock, time period stopwatch. We're going to bring the opacity to zero. So the text is invisible. I'm going to move it just a little bit here, and now I'm going to crank up the opacity to 100. So now when you watch this, you can see that it smoothly fades in. It looks a little better. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it say moon across the sky. And then right here, I'd like it to stay like that. So what I have to do is I have to add another keyframe so that it stays like this until this point. So the way that you do that is way over here to the left, right here, you add a keyframe. So what that's going to do is it's going to remain here in this position until right here. And then we want it to fade out. Okay, so now I'm going to fade it out. And here's what it looks like. Good. Now, if you want to, um, if you want to change it just to give it a little bit of a, a better look right here, what we can do is I'm going to bring this to four seconds again. I'm going to hit scale. Okay, so scale. Now it's putting in a keyframe right here, scale. So right when it gets here, I'm going to bring the scale up just a little bit more, just a bit. Okay, so it's going to be kind of trendy. It's going to look pretty cool. Watch this, what it does here. It kind of moves up like that. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another keyframe here. And it's going to, uh, I mean, we could just leave it like that if we want. As a matter of fact, I'm going to leave it. That looks pretty good. And then it fades out nicely. If you want it to fade out smoother, just grab this opacity keyframe and just pull it across here like that. Look at that. Okay, so that's Moon Across the Sky Productions. It fades out. Okay, the last thing that uh, we want to do, it's 10 seconds long, is we're done our project now. What we're going to do is we're going to save our project file. So save as, this is an AEP, so it's a .aep After Effects project file. So what that means is I'm going to save that into my desktop, into my proper folder. My proper folder is my primary folder. Where is it? Here it is and it's going to go into three after effects I'm going to cross the sky and i'm going to call it my name so that's mr place vp 20 s s1 2022 and it's called moon across the sky see that so uh, and it says aep after it that means it's the after effects project file so if i want to do any more work on it it would open after effects but when I've finished it, just like in Photoshop and Premiere Pro, we want to export. So watch this. File, export, add to render queue. Okay, so add to render queue, we're going to export right from the After Effects program. And what's really, really nice about After Effects 2023 is the output never used to allow you to, uh, to download and, and export as an H.264, an MP4. It only allowed you to do quick times. So we don't use those anymore. So all we do is we drop this down to H.264, just like we did as our standard in Premiere Pro. And of course, that's the codec. The file container is going to be .mp4. So all I do is I go OK. Not yet specified. This is the output. We have to click on this too. And here's where we call it the exact same thing that we just did. It's called place vp20s. S1 2023 and it's called Moon Across the Sky. Moon Across the Sky and it's going to be dot mp4. So this is the layer. Uh, it squashes all your layers. All your layers need two layers into one and mp4. So I'm going to save and then the last thing I'm going to do is hit render. And you can watch it's now building your composition and exporting it. Awesome. Good. Then what I want you to do is hand that in. So this is Mr. Place right here. This is your primary folder. Those should be exported into Moon Across the Sky. Here it is right here, and here it is right here. So I'm going to hit Shift to grab both of them, or it's multi-select like this. We're going to copy. We're going to go to the Hand In folder, which is Video Production. Hand In. Make choices. I'm in Period One. If you're in Period One. You're just going to click on it, After Effects, and you're going to paste it into moon across the sky paste there we go 
Fantastic. So we've got here, we've got this, and now um, somebody who's building your first film, if you want to make a project, uh, a production company, you now have the skills to do that. Okay, that's all I have to say today. Mr. Place out. Good luck on your projects.